Hi y'all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com um, Sorry I've been a little bit behind um, The real reason was I got so high on 420 it Took me like the whole week to recover So I think I've completely recovered um, From that weekend Anyway, I've got uh, ROM review for the Galaxy S2 i9100 um, This is the D4 ROM Yes, this is the D4 ROM uh, Let me show you some of the cool stuff about this ROM um, let's first go into settings and go to about phone. It runs for that, so that's for. Um, let me show you. It runs the SIA kernel. Um, I am based on the IMM6, uh, IMM76D. Uh, so this one comes with. Uh, first of all, it comes with the home screen overall screen screen over scroll effect so you don't go beyond it but I personally like the ones that actually go all the way around that's kind of cool but eh, it doesn't matter um, and also it comes with DSP manager which is one of my favorite things uh, when listening to music on my headset or earphones earbuds um, it's great I really need that um, so that is good and also this is what it looks like there's no um, toggles here other than the regular four you do get the quick settings here and in settings um, let me show you you do get all of these things launcher uh, themes um, this one is supposed to have a theme engine you can change the theme but I haven't so far been able to change the theme um, for some reason I don't know why um, but actually let's give it a try here because uh, maybe their theme engine uh, was down last night or something I installed it um, but I've got also a bunch of different ROMs that I'm going to review uh, today and also for the T-Mobile and the AT&T Galaxy S2 and uh, Epic 4G Touch I'm going to try to do it tomorrow because there's so many ROMs to cover uh, anyway pff, I'll let you mess with that uh, let me close that up so let's go back to settings here um, system, you can change some of this stuff here, lock screen, um, temporary, well, that's not working yet. Um, system, alright, the coolest part about this is actually the D4D4 ROM settings here. Um, here you can do, uh, change a lot of stuff. Let's go to other settings here. Change the LCD density so you can make it into tablet mode or whatever if you want to. Um, but, uh, you know, just I, I, I wouldn't really recommend changing it. Um, this is really cool camera recording mode. You can record in 3GP or uh, MP4. I believe that's different type of files. Uh, I'm not sure if MP4 will give you better resolution or not, but um, could be helpful for those of you uh, who take a lot of videos. And also enable HD YouTube on 3G and Wi Fi. Um, that's kind of cool. And uh, sound management. I know a lot of you have been asking me to um, turn off the focus sound and stuff. You can uncheck it if you don't want the sound here. Um, and all, all of these sounds. That's really cool. That comes really handy without um, hacking your the, this directories of your phone. Easily do it. Um, I think. Oh, let me show you the cool thing about the browser. His this one. So let's say you open up this window, and then let's go. You open up another window in another window and the coolest thing is it gives you this um, kind of like a web OS like feel here so you can like close it so I swipe it just like you know just like doing with the apps so that's really cool um, as far as overclocking it gives you um, gives you overclocking up to 1.4 gigahertz um, I wish it did 1.6 gigahertz because my my phone can handle 1.6 gigahertz no problem. But at 1.4 gigahertz no problem. Lulz active. I like that governor. It has lots of governors. Lulz active is my favorite one. It should give you the best battery life uh, with a little bit priority for performance. So that's good. It looks like a pure solid ROM. I've been using it for um, half a day now. And uh, I I really like it a lot, um, but I've got so many ROMs to review. Should give you better battery life and performance over stock, of course. On Quadrant, I did I did get uh, do I have the scars here? I'm not gonna run it because it's gonna just waste another 
five minutes of your day. Um, but it gives you, uh, I'll just tell you, it gets around 4,000 to 4,200 4, at 1.4 gigahertz on Molds Active, which is fairly good. Um, so very good ROM, uh, another great ROM, 4.0.4 ROM, and also I have a review of the new Resurrection 1.7 coming, actually I've been using that too. And a couple more ROMs I've been reviewing, so um, stay tuned folks. And uh, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to, um, if you have an AT&T T-Mobile or the international version of i9100 Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my uh, email list at galaxyS2root.com where we update you uh, once or twice a week. Actually, it's been more like once a month now because I've been kind of high on Android. Um, but I try to update you as often as I can and also it's a great way for you to communicate with me and also I don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me. It helps me greatly. And also subscribe to my channel. This is how I make a living. And also share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And thanks you guys again for supporting my um, my channel here. And I know everyone who won those t-shirts, I'm sending it out uh, probably tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, I've been so high. And uh, I've been just... Uh, but I ha I'm sending them out. And also I'm giving out t-shirts randomly to com uh, the best commenters. Um, so just, you know, keep, keep, you know, we're not just trying to like give out t-shirts like a contest. I, I don't want to do that. I just want to give out to people who, you know, are really nice enough to like leave a lot of comments and they actually, you know, interact. And sometimes they help me com uh, comment to other people, which is really cool. And it helps me, you know, I was trying to respond to all these comments and then it helps. Anyway, thanks you guys again for supporting my channel and stay high on Android folks. And uh, I'm going to get really high on Android. Oh yeah, alright, see y'all later.